East and South Africa, 8 million years ago. About 60 million years have passed since the age of dinosaurs ended. It is the late Miocene epoch. The climate in Africa is becoming warmer day by day. Sprawling grasslands are a common sight. The African apes have undergone a great deal of evolutionary transformation and some human-like apes have started emerging, possibly from the Dryopithecus line. The earth is waiting for a new ruler. Hi friends, this is Akhilanan Singh. Welcome to the first part of the series named Hominins to Humans. In this six part video series, we will go through a human evolution journey spanning 7 million years. On your screen, you are seeing the syllabus of UPSC Anthropology Paper 1. In this first part, we are going to learn about three genera named Sahelanthropus, Ororin and Ardipithecus. This part combined with the remaining five parts will cover all the requirements of the topic 1.6. Let's understand the phylogeny and taxonomy of human evolution. Taxonomy means classification of different species and phylogeny describes the line of descent and relationships among different species. The subfamily Homininae consists of orangutans, gorillas, chimpanzees and humans. This subfamily is divided into four tribes named Pongini, Gorillini, Panini and Hominini. The tribe Pongini has the genus Pongo. Orangutans belong to this genus. Gorillas belong to the genus Gorilla within the tribe Gorillini. Chimpanzees belong to the genus Pan under the tribe Panini. We modern humans belong to the tribe Hominini. Our genus is Homo. But our tribe Hominini has several other genera too. Genera is the plural of genus. The names of other genera under our tribe are Sahelanthropus, Ororin, Ardipithecus, Australopithecus, Paranthropus, and Kenyanthropus. Cladogram. You are seeing a cladogram where the phylogeny of tribes Pongini, Gorillini, Panini and Hominini is shown. The Ponginini tribe separated from our ancestors about 12 million years ago. The Gorillini tribe separated from us about 10 million years ago. Our ancestors got separated from the Panini tribe which belongs to the chimpanzees some 8 million years ago. Genera and Species Timeline. On your screen, you can see the timeline of different genera within our tribe, the Hominini tribe. The genus Sahelanthropus existed about 7 million years ago. Between 6.25 and 6 million years ago, the genus Ororin existed in Africa. The genus Ardipithecus evolved between 6 and 4.2 million years ago. Now let's talk about different species within genera. It is worth noting down the naming convention. The full name of a species consists of two words. The genus name starting with the uppercase letter and the species name starting with the lowercase letter. The genus Sahelanthropus has only one known species whose name is Sahelanthropus chadensis. The genus Ororin also has only one known species whose name is Ororin tugenensis. There are two known Ardipithecus species whose names are Ardipithecus kadabba and Ardipithecus ramidus. The genus Australopithecus who lived between 4.2 and 2 million years ago has five known species whose names are Australopithecus anamensis, Australopithecus afarensis, Australopithecus gadhi, Australopithecus africanus and Australopithecus sediba. There is another genus named Paranthropus who coexisted with Australopithecus between 2.5 and 1.5 million years ago. The genus Paranthropus has three known species named Paranthropus aethiopicus, Paranthropus boisei and Paranthropus robustus. Our genus Homo has 9 or even more species inside it. We are the species Homo sapiens within the genus Homo. Now let's understand the characteristics and geographical distribution of the genera Sahelanthropus, Ororin and Ardipithecus. On your screen you are seeing the timeline for these three genera. In the evolution chronology the species Sahelanthropus chadensis appeared first. Then came Ororin tugenensis. After Ororin tugenensis, Ardipithecus kadabba evolved and then Ardipithecus ramidus appeared. But their fossils were discovered in the exact reverse order. For this video, let's go through the species in the order of their discovery. Ardipithecus ramidus In the year 1994, Tim White discovered the fossils of Ardipithecus ramidus in the Awash Valley in Ethiopia, Africa. He found some dental, teeth, skull and limb bones. There were total 110 specimens representing 35 individuals. Adi means ground, Pithecus means ape and Ramidus means root in the Afar language of Africa. 
Ardipithecus ramidus lived between 4.5 and 4.2 million years ago. It had a height of 4 feet and the weight was approximately 50 kg. Ramidus was a plant, fruit and meat eater. Its dentine indicate that it did not eat hard abrasive food like nuts and tubers. It practiced both bipedal and quadrupedal locomotion. It had a small brain of 300 to 350 cubic centimeters. In 1997, paleoanthropologist Johannes Hale Selassie discovered some more Ardipithecus fossils in the same Awash Valley in Ethiopia. Some teeth and bones of lower jaw, hand, toe, arms and collar bones were discovered. Though they looked similar to the earlier discovered Ardipithecus ramidus fossils, there were some differences. And these fossils belong to the ancient humans living 700,000 years earlier. Scientists named them as Ardipithecus kadabba, who lived between 5.8 and 5.2 million years ago in the Awash Valley of Ethiopia. The name kadabba has come from the Afar language of Ethiopia. It means oldest ancestor. Because at that time, Ardipithecus kadabba was known to be the earliest ancestor of humans. But soon some more fossil discoveries were made in Kenya. This time the fossils were even older, belonging to a time between 6.1 and 5.7 million years ago. These were discovered in the Tugain Hills of Kenya, East Africa. Brigitte Sinet and Martin Pickford discovered 20 specimens of skull, pelvis, finger and toe bones related to 5 individuals in the year 2000. These specimens were classified belonging to a separate genus called Ororin. Ororin means original man in the Tugain language. The species was named Ororin tugenensis. Tugenensis had small teeth related to their body size. There is one very interesting fact about the genus Ororin. They existed 200,000 years earlier than the Australopithecus afarensis, yet their femur bone has more resemblance to our femur bone. Another interesting fact about Ororin tugenensis is that they lived in a forest environment, not in savanna, but still they knew bipedal locomotion, though their primary locomotion was quadrupedal. In the year 2001, Michael Brunner discovered skull bone, jaw pieces and some teeth near the Sahel region in Chad, Africa. These fossils had a lot of differences from the Ororin, Ardipithecus and Australopithecus genera. Hence, they were classified into a separate genus. The genus was named as Sahelanthropus. Anthropus means man in Greek language. Since the fossils were discovered in the Sahel region of Chad, the full name of the species is Sahelanthropus chadensis. Sahelanthropus chadensis lived between 7 to 6 million years ago. They ate fruits, nuts, insects and opportunistically meat of large animals. They had both bipedal and quadrupedal walking capabilities. Their brain capacity is considered to be 350 cubic centimeter. Their height and weight is unknown due to the lack of body fossils. At present, Sahelanthropus chadensis is our earliest known common ancestor. It might also be a common ancestor to both humans and the chimpanzees as they lived close to the time of chimp and human divergence. So far we have covered the evolution journey of about 3 million years, starting with Sahelanthropus chadensis and reaching up to Ardipithecus ramidus. We will cover the next 2 million years of history in the next part of the series in which we will be talking about the genus Australopithecus. It's time to take a break. See you in the next video friends, bye.